yeah, it's good to be back. So we're done with our Triad Me series, and we'll be recording so, um, some videos concerning uh, privilege escalation for both Linux and uh, Windows environments. Then also we'll be recording videos for our cloud security series. Um, for the cloud security series, I think we'll be automating the process. We'll be using uh, infrastructure as a code. We'll be um, doing that dev build um, using Terraform uh, to set up the secure cloud infrastructure, which we intend to cover in that series. And I hope you're going to love the videos you've seen from us. Please, um, if you're not subscribed, please do like, subscribe, and then turn on that notification button. So today's scenario, we've got this uh, initial access on this Windows box, and um, it's just a bare user will be leveraging on that to elevate privilege system level or um, the um, admin privilege level. So what we'll be doing is we will, we've got uh, for the initial stage of this to enumerate attack vector path on this Windows box, so we'll be moving Sherlock in there and using it to run some scan. So right here, I will spin up a Python server. Python 3 is Python 3 on this Kali box. This is actually Kali 2018. So let's just check Python um, that D. Okay, two plus. Uh, well, it might be clear this <laughs> Python 3.m HTTP server. Okay, there are several ways you could be hosting this. Um, HTTP to the um, targets. See, there is a problem here. Mm, I'm going to try that again. Uh, HTTP server, maybe port 9000. Okay, great. So it was a problem with the port. All right, so I'll come over here and I'll try to use the invoke. Uh, maybe web requests. Is it a thing here? Mm, they seem like PowerShell too. So uh, this won't work here. I'll clear this. I think I'll use a different technique. I will set in the variable web. I think it's called web clients. Then I'll pass in the value new um, objects. I think it's new objects. Then I'm going to set that system dot net dot web clients. Okay, if that looks pretty okay, because uh, I have to call this variable. Um, okay, system with another web client, I'll enter that. And I'm going to call that web client. I'll use it to download a file. Then I'll pass in the value of the file. It's going to be HTTP from my web server being hosted 10.0.2. Um, 10 on port 9000, the file is Sherlock, the PS1, then um, I'm going to write this out to my C column users, where are my desktop user, then desktop, okay, then I'll call the file Sherlock, the PS1, I think that's Looks pretty okay. Close this and pull down that file. Okay, great. You can see we uh, got a heat on our server. And that's a 200. Okay, meaning that we're able to reach that file. And on my desktop here, you will see the file. So if I ls quickly, there is shell up there. So we will try to import this file, this module, uh, into PowerShell because we'll be using it to execute certain commands. So I think I'll just use the import module okay then i'll pass that shell of the ps1 that looks pretty cool i'll clear the screen and i'll just find uh i think it's find all all bonds so i'll look for all bonds enter this and wait for shell up to do its thing pretty much fast it's back and we can see there are quite a number of legacy um cv has been flat there okay so mail exploit is up I'm going to clear this whole stuff and I'm going to use a particular module, use um, exploits. I think I'm going to go for the uh, multi. Then I think the particular one is scripts web delivery. Yeah, that's it. 
So, so uh, I think options should work here. Let's see what we have to set quickly and get them set up uh, as fast as possible. Okay, so here we will set um, maybe the L host, which will be our IP address. Then we will set a target. So we'll set L host 10.0.2.10, which is us. Then that port 4444 pretty much looks okay. Then why is my dog back? Okay, so that looks pretty okay. Then we'll set targets two. Okay, so we've got oh man, why is that dog back in now? So we've got our target sets. Then um pretty much uh, we'll set a payload. So the payload that you'll be using will be Windows. I was using the tab to complete. Okay, Windows Meta Prader. So we'll look for, I think, the reverse TCP. That should be fine here. So if we run this, we will generate uh, um, something which we will have to ship over to the Windows box and use that as a way to maybe spawn a shell. So let's run this quickly. So you see, we got this PowerShell command quickly generated. We'll copy this PowerShell command. Oh, sorry. Okay. We'll copy this PowerShell command quickly. Then um, maybe I'll just bring up uh, another terminal. And I'll just now know uh, a file, we'll call it uh, uh, payload.txt. Well, you can use a better name, but I'm just using payload.txt here. I'll paste this in here and write this and exit this. So it's in my desktop. I'll go over here and pull out that command again and download the file this time. I'll download payload.txt. Payload.txt, then I will write that out as payload.txt. Okay, let's quickly download that. And we got that hit, so we have it in here. I'm going to open it, open it pretty much copy the whole line. Okay, so we got um, our callback uh, on the box, and we can see we now have a Metaprider shell um, open for us. So we're going to just uh, drop into that and look at sessions. Uh, tag L, we see there is one session. So let's interact with it, section tag I, one. Okay, so if we type in the command sys info, just to see, um, we are the user on that box, then a logged on users, there are two actually, but we are this user, anyway, it's pretty much fine. If we maybe do the get UID, we'll see we are just a spare user on the box. So what can we do from this point? We can try to see how to escalate this privilege. One quick way, uh, um, let's just maybe PS, let's see the processes. Um, we can see these users, most of the processes are running as normal users, not as admin. So maybe we'll try to migrate and see if that works. Uh, one quick way, which normally I, I, I just, if I have a meta pressure. So I'll go to LSAS. Let me see. 472. So I'll pass in the command migrate 472. So that didn't work, you see, because I have insufficient privilege. So the race will be up to escalating this privilege. As you can see with our initial process, we, with our initial shell, we're trying to run the command hash down, get system, but it doesn't seem to be working. So we have to migrate this process. Uh, maybe we have to elevate our privilege to be able to execute some more commands like this. So we'll just background, um, we'll background this session. 
then we're going to use a particular module which let's use the post module let's run um posts i think there's a post module called multi uh recon okay then it's local exploit suggester So let's wait for it to do its thing and see what we can find. Then from there, we may find something that can enable us to elevate that privilege which we intend to do. Okay, so it's done and we can see this appears to be quite a handful of them. Uh, it's, it's vulnerable to the MS-15051 client copy image. It's vulnerable to secondary login, handle progress, uh, we will take one of these and just try against the box and see maybe the uh, scale elevate uh, elevate or maybe I'll work with this one It appears to be vulnerable. Let's go verify. So let's background this Then we're going to use or we'll paste that in there Okay Sets session three. I think I'll just run this and see if that will grab me a port session on the box. Seem to fail initially um, to bind on that port, but let's see. Uh, I see this completed, but no session was created. I'll verify sessions.l. It doesn't seem to be a port session, so that didn't give me a session. We're going to try another one. Always install elevated. Maybe this may work. The target appears to be vulnerable. We'll verify. You see, sometimes you might get this green, but it just won't work. Just like the one we just completed. Now you see it didn't work. So we're going to use, we'll paste this in there. Then we we'll set sessions uh, three. We'll run this quickly. I'm not sure why it's failing to bind on. Uh, okay, maybe because it's busy. So this worked. See, there's a port session that is open already. We're going to go, go verify that quickly. Let's see if that's an elevated session. But I'm seeing this error which gets me worried so let me just do the sessions that l there is a port one which is anti authority but i'm not sure if you can interact with it let's see sessions that i pull okay maybe we'll run the command uh sys info okay that works fine probably uh get system oh what pretty excellent so hash dump, we should be able to dump all the hash now. So we can see the admin's hash, we can see the other user's hash. And from this point, you can go as far as uh, maintaining that level of persistence. So I'm gonna stop this here. Thanks for once again watching and enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoy the video.